Okay, now we're going to do a whole lot of examples because there are so many different questions that can be asked regarding these differential equation, these spring mass systems. We'll start off very simple. A four pound mass is attached to a spring with spring constant 16 pounds per, per foot. In your homework, it won't usually say K equals. It'll say the spring constant is 16 pounds per foot. Uh, find the period of SHM is simple harmonic motion. Remember, period is it going to be a length of time. It's T. What we're looking for is T. Well, the only thing we don't know is omega in this. So let's, let's go ahead and just write out what the differential equation would be. Remember the differential equation, I'm going to write it slightly differently. Uh, remember that differential equation? This represents this system exactly. M is the mass, K is the spring constant. And then we do... Oh, and by the way, I changed notation a little bit. Frequently in differential equations, when the um, independent variable is t time, we just put two dots over it. <clears throat> so this is d squared x over dt squared. And x with a dot over it would be dx dt. So plus k over m x equals 0. Well, we know what... K is, and we know what M is, although do we? A four pound mass. We don't want the number of pounds. We want the mass of this object. Okay, so here's what you need to remember to do. Whenever you're given um, the weight of the mass that's being put on the spring, you need to say mass is equal to um, the number of pounds divided by gravity. So 4 <clears throat> over 32. For 32 feet per second squared. 32, it's not perfect. It's not exact. It's more close, I believe, to 32.2. But we're just going to use 32. Okay, so that's all you need to remember to do. This is a weight Okay, so we're taking the weight, dividing it by, and dividing gravity out of it. <clears throat> so M is 1 eighth. So what do we have? We have 1 eighth over, oh sorry, K goes on top. So we get 16 over 1 eighth. Which is 16 times 8 which is 128. Now that we've written this, we know what this is. This is x dot dot plus omega squared x equals 0. So we've figured out what omega squared is. It'll be easy to figure out what omega is. And then we can plug it in here and we'll be done. So x dot dot. Um, oh, I don't even need to do that. All I need to say is that omega squared is 128, which means omega is going to be um, 64 times 2. The square root of that would be 8 radical 2. So we're about done. All we have to do is t equals 2 pi over 8 radical 2. No, we don't like to leave things like that with the radicals in the denominator. So that would be, um, well, let me get rid of the 2 over 8. And then I'll multiply top and bottom by radical 2. So I get radical 2 pi on top. Over 4 times radical 2 times radical 2, which is 4 times 2, which is 8. And that's it.
we were asked to find the period of simple harmonic motion. You need to remember that T is the period. And I guess I, I could have and should have put the units that many seconds.